All right, so what I want to do is just point you to where you'd find the resources to use the API programmatically. Uh, we're not going to actually use the API because there's a lot more to it uh, than what I'm going to show you here, but at least you'll uh, be familiar with how the API works. So I'm on the aws.amazon.com website. If you type in docs at the type top there, it's going to bring you to the main documentation. And what we're looking for, if we scroll on down, there should be a general reference area where we have service endpoints. If we click into here, it's going to uh, talk about um, how a service endpoint is structured. And if we go down to ABIS API, we can see some additional information. Of course, to use um, the API, you're going to have to sign API requests first, which is not a super simple process, but you have to use an authorization header um, and send along uh, some credentials and things like that. So if you want to know what service endpoints uh, are available to you, if you search service endpoints list for AWS, this is the big list. And so if I was to go down here and look for EC2, uh, might be a common example here, it's going to tell us what the endpoints are. And as you can see, they are regional based. But the idea here is that I could take something like this, okay, I could grab that, and using something like Postman, I could go and create a new request and it's probably a post. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It's probably a post. And then you'd set your authorization header. There might even be one in here for AWS. See where it says AWS signature. So you can go here and put your access key and secret within here. Um, so that's something nice about Postman. So it's going to do the signing request for you. So it makes your life a lot easier. And then from there, what you do is you go to your body and you'd want to enter in JSON. So to do JSON would probably be raw. You drop down the format JSON and then you'd send your payload, whatever it is. So I, again, I haven't done this in a while because it's not a very common uh, thing that I have to do, like describe EC2 instances, but there probably is like an action and some additional information that you'd send along. Um, so, you know, hopefully that gives you kind of an idea how the API works, but you know, you should never pro uh, in practice ever have to really work with the API uh, this way directly, okay?